tunnel boring scope of work also included the design, fabrication and construction of the retrieval shaft. The shaft was constructed as a 6 metre diameter, 12 metre deep steel segmental cased temporary case and shaft. The retrieval shaft was used not only to retrieve the jacking shield, but also as a shoring system for the manhole construction. The shaft was constructed utilising custom-built hydraulic jacks, gallows, which provided for the controlled advancement of the shaft segments into the ground and for recovery of the same. Tunnel Boring Australia used one of the two telescopic clam deep shaft excavators it owns for the excavation operation. The clam deep shaft excavators are capable of soil removal from up to 20 metres in depth. The shaft was made of nine standard shaft rings and one initial shaft ring. The standard shaft ring is made of four segments, 1200 millimetres high. The initial shaft ring has a different design, which also includes a 200 millimetre cutting edge. The centre of the shaft was marked on the surface and the initial six metres diameter shaft ring was assembled, then placed in an excavated area 1200 millimetres deep with a diameter of approximately 8.5 metres. A concrete beam designed to withstand the forces applied by the four hydraulic jacks was then constructed. Once the concrete beam was poured and reached its strength, the four gallows were then placed over the pre-positioned plates. The initial shaft ring was then installed and the first of the nine standard shaft rings was joined and placed on top of the initial shaft ring and the pushing installation of the initial shaft ring commenced. Excavation of layers of 200 to 300 millimetres preceded each push until the full 1200 millimetre height of the initial shaft ring was jacked into position. The hydraulic jacks are used to control the plumb of the shaft. Upon reaching depths greater than 1.5 metres, a removable suspended working platform, false flooring, was introduced, which provided access for skilled workers to join and bolt the steel segments of the shaft. During this whole process of excavation and jacking, the annulus between the shaft and the collar, concrete beam, was kept filled up with bentonite suspension which prevented ground movement and kept a good sliding surface between the outside of the rings and the ground. The cutting edge was at all times kept tight into the strata which prevented any loss of bentonite. The process of part excavation, part jacking continued until the initial ring and cutting edge came within 50 millimetres of its final position. In this case, the top of an existing sewer pipe tunnel. Once this position was reached, parts of the initial ring were removed. 